Hi, welcome to the Air Weapon Channel. Uh, today we're going to look at the Novridge SSP5 Airsoft Pistol. Just going to do a quick chrono test, being so I've not chrono this since I've had it, uh, and I've had it for about a year now. I do love the gun, but lately I keep having jamming issues, and every now and again when you fire it, a BBB will just roll straight out to the end. But other than that, it's still one of my most favourite guns that I own. So this is my model. Normally I use a uh, Ace Tech Bifrost, uh, Ace Tech Bifrost Tracer unit on the end of it, but these uh, Ace Tech Blaster ones, they're much more reliable and they last a lot longer. So, um, right. So what I want to do first is, yesterday I went to shoot a 4.9 out here, which these guns are supposed to do, and it just jammed up straight away. So later on in the evening, I put point threes back in here and it fired absolutely fine. So today I'm going to do a chrono test with Ultra Player Choice Power Gas on a Green Gas Magazine and then CO2 Magazine. First round we'll use 0.3 weight BBs and we'll see what they do with that and then I'll move up to 0.4s and then I'll try the North Ridge 4.9s and yesterday I did struggle with them. So that's just been loaded up with fresh gas, that's just been loaded up with a fresh CO2. So first of all, we'll start with this one. Throw on a reading. Two sixty, two fifty eight, two fifty six, two fifty six, fifty nine. Around the two fifty with green gas and point threes, even though this gun recommended weight is three point two. So now we'll try same only with CO two. See, keeps fluffing out. Well, between 319 and three, uh, 280, but when I first purchased this, the first couple of shots was around 400 FPS with a CO2 mag. And then after that, they were 349 continuously until the mag ran out. And they were around 316 with the with the green gas. So I'll try it with an Umarex gas because I think I just used the cheap one in here because that's another thing I want to test. No, that was the Umarex. So let's try the, the cheap one now. But as always, the results are always the same. CO2 with BB pistols is always much better. You always get anywhere between 30 and 40 FPS more. Yeah, I think they go. Actually, let me just see what first reason will be able to point to. The 
just two shots are going to be applied to on a fresh CO2. This is the other gun fluid. See, 0 0.2s. First two shots, 0 0.2. Three sixty eight with a point two. Don't know if you can see that, but that's reading at three hundred and sixty eight. One point two six two joules. So let's put it back to I think I'm just gonna have to give this one a maintenance check. Back on point threes now. Don't know why, but it never reads this one. Well, either way it goes. So, with a point three, I'm getting three twenty with a cheap gas, unbranded off Amazon, and then with the Umarex, I was getting really low readings around like two hundred and eighty odd, and then with a the point twos. I was getting like, what was it, 358 was it, something like that, so yeah, so sometimes diva stuff isn't always the best, but either way it goes, they are better when you're using the fists, because these, see, they jam on that. These cheap branded ones, as you can see, though, they just won't pierce if you're using if you're using these fists for the 40 mil grenade tag launching shells. Be wary of the cheap CO2s. They damage your piercing pin in here. They don't fully pierce properly, which ends up blowing your seals. So even though the branded ones might be slightly less powerful than the cheaper ones, they are much better for your, uh, for your internal parts. Like. Right then, um, I think that's it for now then, so hope you enjoy and we'll see you again soon.